Welcome everybody to the show. Welcome to the show, everybody. Welcome sorry, to the show. We're, we're the starting first off. show post the launch of Threads, Rob. Buddy, I meant to congratulate you. Uh, I've been following you on Threads since wow. about nine thirty last night, and wow. I am blown wow. away. I'm blown away, guys. We're having so threads. much fun. Uh, I was exclusively invited to Threads when there were only. <laughs> A thousand people on it. Um, that must have felt really exclusive because it went from a thousand person party to about a 10 million person party. Yes. So for like two Real days, bad. it was a thousand people yeah. just like wading the waters. Yeah. Me, Mark Cuban. I saw that. Uh, yeah. A handful of other people. But uh, it was interesting to be on a social media platform where you didn't really know anyone. Yeah. <laughs> there were only a thousand people there. Uh, and you had like this access to basically anyone because there was no way to have a thread going because yeah. you had none of your, your peeps. Yeah. Well, um, um, for people that don't know what we're talking about, I kind of feel like this crowd knows exactly what we're talking about. Cause this is a yeah. very tech savvy crowd. You're on Twitch. So you fucking figured that out. But, or you're watching us on Facebook, or you saw my thread, mm, not tweet. Yeah, you saw my thread on thread. Is that what it's called? Your thread. Okay. Well, I don't think it's called the tweet. No, it's not called a tweet. But um, the yeah. So this is the new, basically Twitter started by another shitty billionaire, uh, Mark Zuckerberg. We really had a weird choice there. We could stick with the shitty billionaire that was promoting you know, Nazis and, and racism, yeah. or we jump to this other billionaire who's also a maniac. And, and... well, here's the thing. It just, but, there, but, there's a, but that, show said, you. that said, there is a good vibe on, on the great right vibe. Now. Like, like last said, night I was like, Oh, this is really fun and nice. And just like reading the weird thing is, is that they, you know, they'll figure this out. I'm sure they already have, but like, where are the people that I follow? Like, it's just everybody. It's just everyone in a crowded oh, room right now. They you gotta well, get it so that like- You could just, so that you, you go into the settings. See. You okay. just go into the settings and just pick uh, only who I follow. And then you'll hmm. just get your own, and that's, then that's it. So like are right now- sure? Because I saw a lot yeah. of people smarter than me trying to figure that out last night. Uh, but... There, well, there was an article that was released this morning that showed people how to do it. You just okay. click a little button. Okay. Um, but, but, but I will but say a lot this. Of good, a lot of good energy. What I love about this is, first of all, you're right. People jumped from <laughs> Elon Musk to Zuckerberg as if it was like, oh my God, yeah. our savior has come. Like yeah. we, people jumped into Zuckerberg's arms yeah. so quickly. Was it like 23 million people signed up in 24 hours? Like is something that the crazy. That's it was crazy. something, I think something astronomical, like no other social media platform has had anything like that. But uh, the crazy thing about it is there is a moment, right? Like this past week, for those of you who are still on Twitter, and I know not a lot of people are, but uh, I like to hang out there. I got good sports stuff on there. Uh, where I guess like over the weekend, Elon Musk started saying you could only look at like a couple hundred tweets a day and then you'd reach your max. Yeah, because of like data scraping and some other made up term. Like literally, I... My theory all along has been, I don't know if that will ever, that I could ever be proven right, but I think, you know, um, Saudi Arabia is the main investor in Twitter. And yeah. obviously they don't want people to be able to speak out against the government or anything. So I think that they just said, look, man, just run it into the ground. Like just crash this plane into the ground. Like, yeah, why? because it was a, know. it was a beacon of free speech. Like that was a cool thing about Twitter. And look, it's gotten, very before Elon Musk, it became a cesspool, right? I think people got really upset about it. I don't see any um, guardrails on threads to prevent it from becoming that, but I feel like it's a new space where there's not going to be, uh, you're not going to be force fed a point of view that you didn't want. And that's as, as somebody who has stayed on it for long enough, it really just corroded and it was like all these it janky ass weird. ads. It got really weird. I'm still on it but i but i'm not, on it not still, not yeah. happily like i'm on it just because um for a news aggregator you know like as yeah. soon as soon as threat as, th as soon as threads becomes like i can just go and see 
breaking news. Like, you know, I just once that happens, then what's the point of Twitter? But but there's this moment, though, where Musk has just been fucking up. Right. It's like <laughs> all of us. First, you get these janky ads. Then you get like every time you made a tweet or at least whenever I made a tweet, I'd get like. Uh, a blurred picture is like you want some of this and it was yeah like, oh yeah is, yeah 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 yeah. what is this yeah. and and then it was like this idea that you could only read a couple of tweets a day yeah. and i feel like threads was not ready at all blue sky was jumping out of but blue sky you still need an invite to but blue sky did into... the same thing or a version of the thing that elon did uh, I, recently or a couple days ago where they were like hey we got to limit the number of people that are jumping on. It's there's too many people or whatever. Right. Our servers so can't I, handle it. I think basically Zuckerberg, if I'm guessing, but what he had to be like, this is the best time. We're not ready, but this is the time. Like, let's launch it. Right. There'll be Do bugs. People... people will forgive it. But like, I, you know, I, I think too, part of the initial surge um, is a fuck you to Elon. It's like, fuck this guy. Let's go to this other fucking dumb yeah. fucking place run by another maniac. But at least it, he's not a Nazi. You know what I well, mean? Well, like he's not going to. We'll see. We will see. But I think the other oh, thing. Yeah. Too yeah, is yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Who knows what's going right. to happen? Yeah. I don't know. But, as soon as but, I click the thing about like, you know, do you want to give your information to threads? I was like, well, Instagram already has my information. It's the same I mean, that was thing. the genius thing, too. It's sort of like. I've never seen such a smooth transition. They just took everyone on Instagram and then you had a Threads account. Like you didn't have to do anything. You pressed a yeah. button. So they like this idea like, oh my gosh, I got so many people there. They just, I mean, it feels to me like I was describing it today. Like when I'm on Threads and I go to Instagram, it's like I'm leaving out my front door to climb through my window. It's like they're the same platform it's the yeah. same thing like what like it's weird to have these two things like why don't we just integrate them as one silo like sometimes you'll have uh a verbal thread and sometimes you have a picture post but it's like weird to be like i go over here for this content but this I, it's i almost yeah. think that he uh, again i'm guessing but i think in these like whatever new media wars i think it was yeah. just like fuck you Elon. yeah like and also you know he can make they'll make money obviously with advertising and stuff so it's just like well why don't we just diversify and we'll take over twitter people can bring their followers with a click of a button and then we'll sell ads over here too so we're just you know making money coming and going but um but just bringing it back to like what people liked about twitter what that's what i kind of love like the first two days of this again it's still new has been like fun old twitter like bits and dumb stuff and funny yeah. pictures and like it's less politically driven it's less um there's less outrage like yes. like twitter is uh not, it, I have not enjoyed going on there for years because you just have to be ready. You have to be yeah. ready to get fucking outraged. I mean, maybe that's the people that I follow or whatever, but no, but I mute so state, much on there. You know, yeah. Yeah. So I feel like at least for now, it's not, I'm not um, angry yet when I go on here. Well, um, I, but, but I hope that this is what it becomes. I think that what, what people might be finding, like, look, we have a great discord, uh, the friend zone discord, uh, is awesome. We have amazing moderators. It's great conversation in there. We can get into different areas, but that's, that's where real... that's where these are the people that told me about drinking the poison and jacking off. A what? Great, that's a great, where the Discord. A great oh community, Paul. Like you said, a great oh, community, brother. But I but I will say, like that's the interesting thing. Like Discord has come up, but I think people just want a place to. I don't know. Go back to that original idea of what Twitter was, which was just fun and light and easy. Obviously, we don't live in a fun, light, and easy world, but I think but what Instagram does so well is basically yeah. it's like, hey, it's hey, we're having a good time. It's just and, humble yeah. brags about what you're doing. You know, it's like Instagram is like, hey, look at me. I'm at this cool wedding. Hey, I'm at the fucking cool restaurant that I wish you you wish you were here. But yeah, it's not like Instagram to me isn't I, I don't get provoked uh, that much, you know? Yeah. And, um, but the um what else was i gonna say but oh i wish i mean this is dumb this will never happen but <laughs> i wish there was a way to migrate your the people you follow on twitter on to 
In other That's words, what I now, thought last night. I now was like, I have I to go that. through Twitter manually and look at who I'm following on Twitter and go and, and find well, them. I, I feel like it will start to kind of go together. What I did last night, uh, because I thought it would just go over easy, was, uh, and this is like something if you're just watching some boring television, I just would search, I searched A. And I just saw everybody. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, here's some people I should follow. And B, like, I just went down the whole alphabet. And I think yeah. I found a lot of people. But it is interesting because it's like you can do that when you leave a browser. Like if you go from, you know, from Chrome to Safari, you can export your bookmarks. Like here, yeah. it's sort of like – but I think everyone will start coming over, especially in Twitter. It's like, okay, it will, it will, it will happen. It will happen. Yeah, yeah. The um... – Oh, look at this. Somebody said before Twitter's API died, I wrote down some simple code just to download my whole follow list. Well, I mean, hopefully they came over. I mean, that's the other thing, too. Like, did they come over? You yeah. know, that would be that would be the real move. It'll, like, could, it'll be a while. I mean, yesterday was day or today is really the official day one. Right. Like yeah. last night you could get on. And I was surprised, like, um, you know, how um, I mean, like, you know, my wife was like, what is it? And I was, you know, I think a lot of people are like, because uh, it's a little late to the game i think that they must have been just sitting on this for a while by the way do, what is the history of this like this to me can't, i had not heard of this before yesterday so i i mean look i am uh i'm not in the tech space in an aggressive way but this has been wait the idea hold on are you not rob i'm so sorry to tell you this now because i know i took a lot of your money What's, for that what blood space machine. Are, yeah what space are you in aggressively? rob i know i've told you that i i work primarily out of san francisco and that's why we have to do this show remotely because i invested money and you said it was going to prick my finger take a yes. drop of my blood yes. the machine would spin mm -hmm. it around and then yes. it would be able to cure all my diseases or at least tell me I, what diseases i'm i lied <laughs> but i would love to get past this I would oh, love to get – I'm technically not in the tech space, but honestly, since uh, – basically since Elon took over Twitter, there has been this idea like we need a Twitter back. And so yeah. in the beginning, it was all these – I mean Mastodon, know, Mastodon, which I Blue, never, Blue Sky, never understood. Post. Blue Sky at least – yeah. Yeah. Uh, so many of these things. So and, many. But I think the idea was that Instagram was working on one because they had this – they already had the infrastructure to yeah. handle it. It's, and and it's, so, not, yeah. it's not uh, rocket science at all. It's very – it's so – it's text-based. It's very – it's like it's just Twitter. I mean it's super easy exactly. to – And we look – and again, Arch Davis and I, I apologize. <sighs> yes, a lot of people refer to me as – they come to me for my tech, tech expertise. I, I'm glad. I will definitely answer a question about any tech stuff, but I just want you to know that today forward – and now that Threads is released, I can tell you I, I am not involved in tech. Yeah. By the way, I liked Hive. Somebody brought up Hive. I said to a friend of mine, I said, Hive is the one that's going to succeed. It felt right. It looked right. But the truth is, if you don't have like the aggregate, again, I'm not in the tech space. Um, that was the secret. Get... That was the secret weapon that yes. they knew. They knew they had that. And they knew that the appeal is uh, the, the appeal for anyone is you know, you want to have as many people follow you as possible, I guess, or, um, you know, have as many fucking eyeballs on your stuff. So yeah, they just figured that out. Like, oh, well, we'll just make it so that everyone from Instagram that follows you will be following you on. Right. On, it's like everybody has their followers. So back you don't have to start it. Yeah. You don't have to start at zero. By the way, we're paying, we're being paid just full disclosure. Paul and I are being paid $600,000 each to talk about this for, the That's next it. two to three days. And so this is a marathon. Uh, uh, we'll be just talking, talking about, about threats. I did tweet at Guy Fieri last night mm. in the hopes that I would get, uh, you know, a, you know, something. I, I you know, uh, but we, I didn't get anything. And I was going to uh, in that when I was in that grouping, when I was in that loan grouping, I am a member 1,222, according to my Instagram uh, profile of threads. When I was in that small grouping of a thousand people, uh, everyone was just saying, "Hey, what's up? Yeah. Hey, what's up?" There was no interaction. So, like Mark Cuban's, like, "Is this on?" Yeah. Like, yeah, no, well, it is, but <laughs> but but uh, that's it. Everybody's post last night, even like major news organizations, like the Washington Post, was yeah. like, uh, "Is this working?" And I'm like, uh, "You got that's the best you got." <laughs> I just I know, started. Everyone, I, I just no started posting like themselves. I know. I just posted like so, some dumb pictures and then I started posting like I posted an old human giant sketch just so that people knew that it was me and not yeah. you know, some bot or whatever. 
But um, but I mean, how long until the bots get on there and ruin it? Well, I mean, I think if you are Mark Zuckerberg, what you do is, first of all, you hire all of Twitter's ex-employees, which he seemingly has done. But then uh, on top of that, you try to create a space that is most like Twitter. And you already saw all the pitfalls that Elon Musk fell into. So Mm -hmm. all he has to do is avoid that. And I have to say, like, oddly, even though I'm not on Facebook, People are very much on Facebook. There are certain things that that he has kept alive and functioning. And Instagram has not gotten like full of ads or anything like that, like in a, yeah. an aggressive way. I mean, well, maybe there's stories. a lot of ads, but it's not like Twitter where you're like looking at that ad for the airplane toy. A million. Oh, times that airplane in a row. toy! It it was such <laughs> like there was a point where I was like. And I didn't want to give Elon the fact Musk that my you money. know what I'm the fact that you yes. know what I'm talking about, and we have not talked about that. Well, that's the thing. Like, there was a moment where I was like, I didn't want to give Elon Musk money, but I was like, if this airplane toy guy is being able to put up this many ads, I could be able to buy an ad that would reach everyone on Twitter. Be like, come watch, yeah, Thursdays yeah. with Rob and Paul. Because like For at sure. this point, it, it it didn't seem like these were very high functioning companies. It just no, felt like yeah, these they, were they, like they felt like weird startups or something that like came from, yeah. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, I just don't want to give Elon any money at all. Um, and but I mean, look, it, I it still is fun. Miss it is fun to watch Tumblr. him. It is fun to watch him freak out. He's freaking out, and he's been like, "This fucking sucks, man." I jumped on for a few minutes. It sucks, man. Yeah, of course. Like, I'm sure. I'm sure you don't like it. And by the way, for everyone's like, "Oh, what do I do here on Threads?" I'm like, the same thing that you do on Twitter, dumbass. It's the same. This, what? There's nothing about it that like everyone's like, "Oh, I'm confused." It's like. Because it's called Threads, not Twitter. It's the exact same thing. It's like I don't understand like this weird. And the it's the idea weird. the idea of like trying to like create a new persona or you know it's like right everyone it's the same stuff. Like all I want is Tumblr to come back. And wait, I, I did talking, Tumblr go away? I didn't even know that. No, it is it is still there and it's still functioning for certain segments of society. It's just um, not not a thing. Yeah. yeah. But well, um, Tumblr was a good, easy. Uh, I feel like Tumblr was big for a while. Did something happen with them? I feel like did one of their well, Tumblr was like mini blogging, right? Like you yeah. didn't have to have a Mi- blog, micro blogging, could... yeah. micro blogging. And then Twitter came and killed Tumblr because like, oh, it's the same idea. You would follow a bunch of people, but now it was a lot quicker, right? Yeah. And that was and yeah. so that yeah. kind of killed that. And I thought that like, but Tumblr, <laughs> there was a lot more fun stuff on there. And uh, people are saying Tumblr went sex negative, uh, which I've heard too. There's a lot of like weird stuff. Tumblr oh, yeah. got into the weird spaces, but I think that Tumblr was killed by Twitter ultimately in the beginning.